Good day, my dear students. For today's video, I'm going to show you how the problems in our quiz are solved. However, I chopped the topic or I chopped the question per topic in order for us to have also the chance to answer um, similar questions in preparation also for your examination. So first up, the simple interest. Malaya puts 220,000 pesos in an investment yielding 5% annual simple interest. She left the money in for five years. How much interest does Malaya get at the end of those five years? So first po, atanungin po natin yung sarili natin. Ano po ba ang tinatanong sa problem? So as you can see, here in our problem, meron pong nakalagay na how much interest how much interest does Malaya get? So meaning to say po, we are dealing with interest. And diba po, when we are dealing with simple interest, we have two main formulas. So we have first the I is equal to PRT and the other one is F is equal to P times 1 plus RT. Now my dear students, malalaman po natin na ito yung gagamitin natin once na ang future value is unidentified. Ibig sabihin, pag hindi po given sa problem, sa future value, ito po yung gagamitin natin. Now second step, let us identify the given. So for the given, di ba po meron tayong principal amount and our principal amount is 220,000 pesos. And also we have the rate of 5% which in decimal po is 0 0.05 and also meron din po tayong time 5 years so meaning to say using this formula we have i is equal to prt that will give us 220000 times 0 0.05 times 5 so in our calculators that is 220 into 3 times 0 0.05 so that is 11,000 times 5 so 11 times 5 that is 55,000 pesos for our second problem if 22,000 pesos interest is earned on a principal of 100,000 pesos at a simple interest rate of 7% interest per year for how many years was the principal invested so yung una po nating i-identify is what is being asked so dito po yung tanong for how many years was the principal invested so meaning we are looking for the time in years and also identify the given so if 22000 interest so given na po na si 22000 ay interest so so that po natin 22000 pesos is earned on a principal of 100000 pesos so si principal po or si 100000 pesos siya po ang principal natin that is 100000 pesos a simple interest rate of 7% so, ibig sabihin po, that is 7% or R or the rate or in decimal that is 0 0.7. Now, sabi natin kanina, we only have two formulas for simple interest and one of which is, is and one of which is I is equal to PRT. However, my dear students, dito po sa problem na ito, hindi naman po si interest ang hinahanap, kundi si time. So meaning to say, we're going to manipulate first this formula in order for us to isolate the T on the left-hand side of the formula para siya na po yung missing term. So let's do that. So our T now is equal to I over PR. For better yet, di ba po, meron na akong shinere about the triangle wherein the topmost, um, it is the I, at ito po, siya po yung PRT. E now, ang gagawin lang po natin is kung sino yung nawawala, siya po yung tatakpan natin. So, dito po, itong time ang nawawala, kapag tinakpan po natin yan, ito po yung magiging formula. I sa taas, the vertical line for this division symbol, PR sa baba. So kung makikita nyo, kapag ginamit nyo 
po ito sa simple interest problems, mas madali po siyang makuhanan ng formula if one of the terms or one of the given is missing po at siya po yung hinahanap sa problem. So using this formula, we have P is equal to I over PR. So that is 22,000 pesos all over the quantity of 100,000 pesos times 0 0.07. So doon po sa quiz, marami po akong nakita na hindi po gumamit ng solution. So di ba po nakalagay sa direction, um, show your solution. So yun understandable naman kasi baka nagmamadali na kayo. So pero po sa exam, I highly um, encourage showing your solution para naman po madagdagan yung points. Okay? So that is 100,000 pesos times 0 0.07. So Using po your calculators, kung yung calculator nyo po is yung, halimbawa, Casio FX82MS, hindi po ES. So, ibig sabihin po, kayo yung wala po ganitong symbol, yung box over box. Pero, meron po kayong yung parang ganyan din po, pero parang inverted L. Ganun po na maliit. So, that is actually a fraction also. So, ito po, kapag ganun po yung calculators nyo, Isa-isa po dapat ang pag-solve. So that is 100,000 times 0 0.07 muna po yung isa-solve niyo po. Yung nasa baba muna po bago po kayo mag-divide. So that is 100,000 times 0 0.07 that will give us 7,000 pesos. So 7,000 pesos, siya po yung isusulat natin ngayon sa denominator kasi po na-simplify na natin. So that is 7,000 and this is 22,000 pesos. Now, using again our calculators, 22,000. So, di ba, sabi ko po, pwede tayong gumamit nung answer. Kasi kung ano yung last natin na na-compute, yun po yung mare-record niyang answer. Divided by yung answer natin kanina, which is 7,000. And our result will be 3.14. So, actually, kapag ginawa niyo po itong into months, better po. Pero for uniformity of our answers in our examination, let us use the decimal na lang po. po. So that is 3.14 years. So kapag ang answer po is 3.14 years, very good po. Nakuha niyo po yung tamang answer. Question number 3. At what rate of simple interest will 275,000 pesos amount to 332,750 pesos in 3 years and 3 months? So, yung tinatanong po sa atin dito, at what rate? So, ibig sabihin siya po yung missing sa problem at siya po yung hinahanap natin. So, at what rate of simple interest will 275,000 amount to? So, ibig sabihin, galing daw po kay 275,000 pesos, at what rate daw po nalalago si 275,000 pesos sa 332,750 pesos? So, meaning to say, ito po yung initial natin na inilagay. Opo. So, ibig sabihin, siya po ngayon yung principal natin. So, that is 275,000. And ito po, siya na po ngayon yung magiging future value natin. Kasi nga daw po, kung ilan daw po yung rate para magkaroon tayo from 275 maging 332,750. So, this is our future value. And the time po is in 3 years and 3 months. So 3 years and 3 months. So sabi natin dapat si time lagging in terms of years. So since nasa month, so we have 3 over 12. And 3 over 12, that is 3 and 1 fourth. Or better yet in decimal, that is 3.25 years. So using po our formula, so diba sabi natin meron tayong dalawang formula. We have the F is equal to P times 1 plus RT and also I is equal to PRT. So dito po sa problem na ito, it's either of the two naman yung gamitin natin. Bakit? So use na muna po natin itong first. So we have F is equal to P times 1 plus RT. At sabi natin, kailangang i-manipulate. So divide both sides by P by P. So that will give us F over P is equal to 1 plus RT. So F over P minus 1 kasi po positive siya dito. Kapag inilagay sa kabila, magiging negative. Kasi po yung goal natin, ano po? is to isolate R kasi siya po yung hinahanap. 
Kaya divide both sides po natin by T. So, RR na po, or RR, our rate will be F over P minus 1 all over T. So, siya po yung magiging formula natin. Kung nahihirapan pong mag-derive, you can always memorize the formula. Opo. However, sabi ko nga po, di ba, sa example, ang ibibigay ko lang po, or, or ang isasama ko lang po sa exam papers, is yun pong general formula. Yung pagde-derive po, kayo na pong bahalang mag-derive. Yung general lang po yung isulat ko. Pero kung hindi po talaga kaya mag-derive, okay lang naman po. Mag-memorize po. Opo. So, our rate now will be equal to 332,750 all over the P, which is 275,000 pesos. Minus 1 all over the T which is 3.25. So dito po, ang uunahin po natin dito is di-divide po muna itong nasa um, unahan or nasa taas. So that is 332,750 divided by 275,000. So that will give us, sorry, that will give us 1.21. 1.21 minus 1 all over 3.25. So that will give us 1.21 minus 1 is equal to 0 0.21 divided by 300 or 3.25. So that is, ilan po? So that is 0 0.0646. So, our rate now is equal to 0 0.0646 or that is 6.46%. Riza borrowed 440000 for four years to make home improvements. She repeated a total of 570,000 pesos. At what interest rate did she borrow the money? So, yung tinatanong po sa atin dito is the interest rate. So, R is the missing po dito sa problem na ito. And sabi po dito, Risa borrowed 440,000. So, si 440,000, ano po siya? That is the principal kasi siya po yung initial na hiniram. So, that is 440,000 pesos is our principal. Now, for the time, we have four years. And what? So, meron pa dito isang given. If she repeat a total of 570,000 pesos, so si 575,000 pesos is the future value now. So, kanina, ginamit natin yung F is equal to P times 1 plus RT. Kasi nga po, diba, we're dealing with also with future value. So, ibig sabihin, pwede natin itong gamitin. Pero pwede din naman yung I is equal to PRT. Depende po sa kung ano yung atakan nyo dito sa problem na ito. So, di ba, we know that um, the future value is actually the present or the principal plus the interest, di ba po? Then, so, the future value is 570 and we are looking for the interest kung ito po yung gusto nyo gamitin. So, we have I is equal to the future value so, si dating positive na principal, pag inilipat sa kawila, that will be negative. So, that is 570,000 pesos minus the principal amount of 440,000 pesos. That will give us... One hundred thirty thousand pesos. So, si interest po natin is one hundred thirty thousand pesos. I is equal to one hundred thirty thousand pesos. So, kung makikita nyo, meron na tayong I, meron na tayong P, meron tayong P, and hinahanap natin si R. So, pwede natin gamitin yung triangle. So, that is I equals P R. Iko-cover lang po natin yung part ng triangle na hinahanap natin. So, ito po yung iko-cover natin. Pag si R po yung wala, ano yung mga natira sa triangle? R is equal to, sa taas si I, all over for this horizontal line here, PT. So, 
R po is equal to 130,000 pesos all over the principal of 440,000 pesos times the time of four years. So again po, using our calculators, sa mga ay gamit po ng calculator na MS yung version. So we need first to multiply the denominator. So that is 440,000 times 4. That is equal to, that is 1,760,000. So, siya po yung sagot. 130,000 divided by 1,760,000. 130,000 divided by the answer. Kasi siya po yung na-record na last answer nitong calculator. So, that will give us 0 0.0739 approximately. So, that is our answer po. Okay, so ito po yung second method na. Depende po sa inyo kung saan formula po kayo comfortable. So 0 0.0739 approximately or that is 7.39%. So for our last example, to buy a laptop computer, Elaine borrowed 20,000 pesos for three years at an annual simple interest rate of 5%. How much interest will she pay if she pays the entire loan off at the end of the third year? What is the amount that she will repay? So dito po, may dalawang tinatanong. Una po, how much interest will she repay? At yung pangalawa po, what is the total amount that she will repay? find for the interest and also the future value. So first, let us identify the given. So meron po tayong to buy a laptop computer, Elaine borrowed 20,000 pesos. So that is our principal. So sa principal po, my dear students, may identify mo as principal siya kapag siya po yung unang dineposito kapag siya po yung hiniram. So yun po o kaya siya yung unang kinuha. So my dear students, lahat po ng yun ay principal, basta laging una. Ngayon po yung interest, malalaman niyo pong interest siya kapag siya yung earning. O po kung ilan yung tinubo, that is the interest. And the future value naman po, my dear students, is the principal plus the earning. So meron na tayong um, principal. We also have... The years, opo, so ibig sabihin, available din si P, which is 3 years. And also, the simple interest rate of 5%. So ibig sabihin po, pwede natin makompute ito. First, how much interest? So that is, for letter A, I is equal to PRT. So that will give us I is equal to 20,000 times the rate of 0 0.05 times 3. So that is 20,000 times 0 0.05. That is 1,000. And 1,000 times 3, that is 3,000. Now my dear students, di ba? Kailangan pa din natin si future value. At alam natin, the future value is the principal plus the interest. So that will give us 20,000 plus the 3,000. That will give us that will give us the future value of 23,000 pesos. This is our final answer. That's it for today, my dear students. If you still have questions, please don't hesitate to comment down below. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. So I'll see you next time. Goodbye!